Second Corinthians 5 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Second Corinthians 5 7 King James Version. For we walk by faith, not by sight. This is what the Bible tells us. For we walk by faith and not by sight. So, <clears throat> this scripture is telling us that, well, first let me say, in the Bible, <clears throat> it tells us that God tells us that if we have faith, belief, faith, which is belief, as little as a little mustard seed is like smaller than a pinpoint like on your pen that you write with it's smaller than that it's as small as that if you have faith that size that you can do anything and nothing is impossible to you So, the Bible is telling us in this scripture, we walk by faith, not by sight. All we need is faith, that tiny bit. Belief. That tiny, that small to please God and to make beautiful things happen and to create and to obtain his blessings and his treasure that he promised to us. But getting back to this scripture because I know I'm kind of explaining a lot of things. This scripture again, 2 Corinthians 5, 7 says, For we walk by faith not by sight you don't go by what you see in front of you you can't go by what you see in front of you because <clears throat> if you go by what you see in front of you you'll give up you'll be you'll be messed up you'll be messed up you won't be able to make it it'll be bad because things can be a mess in front of you. You know, families going wrong, everything, just finances, all these things can be going on in front of you. And if you don't have faith that you already won, if you don't have faith that God already won, if you don't have faith that God have you, if you don't have faith that it's going to be okay, if you don't have faith that just because your situation might look a certain way at a certain time does not, does not mean that that's going to be the outcome of it, that does not mean it's, that's how it's always going to look, or that's where it's, it's um, created to that's what it's created to look like. If, if you don't believe and you don't have hope and trust in God and know his word and know what he said to you, what his promises are to you, he made us so many promises, but if we don't know what they are, then how can we obtain them if we don't even know about them? Reading the Bible the King James Version Bible a lot of people say a lot of things but I'll tell you one thing God's word is more powerful than anything nobody can take it away nobody can hide it nobody can do anything to it that God doesn't want to be done to it so so for, so for you to for, forsake the Bible is forsaking yourself
most powerful tool that God has given you down here other than the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and anointed oil but uh, uh, listen for we walk by faith not by sight you can't go by what you see in front of you you have to have hope you have to have belief belief <laughs> you have to believe in your belief and trust in God keep trusting in him no matter what it looks like keep 